What's up guys, it's Cross here back again with a game called Global Adventurers. I'll be summing up the pros and cons of the game at the end of the video with a rating, so you guys can decide if it's worth your time to be spending on it. The story is about an epic journey as you are a member of the Treasure Hunters Association, also known as the THA. Basically, it's a shooter MMORPG where you get to fight off raiders, zombies, vampires, reincarnated ancient gods and more. As you guys can see, the cinematics are not great at all. The graphics look really bad and dull. The voices too. Sometimes it goes out of sync, so not a great start. So let's jump right into the character creation of the game and see how that is. So the graphics here are way more colorful than the cutscenes. As you guys can see, there are six characters, but there are only three classes. In front are the two demolitionists, the ones in the middle are the biotechnicians, and the other two are the shock troopers. Each of these classes have different abilities and gadgets. The customization is very simple and I like it because you don't need to spend much time on it. A few pieces followed by eyes, mouth, hairstyle, hair color, skin color, and fashion. There is no in-depth customization, but that's okay with me for a game like this. The gameplay looks okay as it is easy to learn the mechanics, but they could improve on the graphics of the game. Controls are normal WASD keys with the numbers as the skills which you have equipped. The skills are pretty easy to use once you get the hang of it. Dungeons are very short and I don't like that. This is because they don't give much rewards. Let's check out the town of the game. There are many towns that's nice but are quite limited what you can do in the town. The town is where you get quests, purchase your gear and also enter other dungeons. Upgrading gear is not that hard as well. You can purchase cosmetics for your character and they look really really nice. Also you can purchase mounts as well. Some of them can be obtained with the game cash but most of them are in the cash shop which you have to use your real money. Since it's a free to play game, it's always the case but that's okay with me. There are a few very bad things about this game that really makes me not want to invest my time in it. First off is the fatigue system, where you can only run a few dungeons a day. So many people do not like this at all. There is a VIP system as well in the game. For each purchase, the VIP rank increases with rewards. So basically it's pay to win. These are the some of the main issues right now and there are more as well. There are a lot of comedy skits where some are actually funny. Some being really bad that actually makes What's you laugh because of that. On? To sum it up, here are the pros and the cons of the game that I could find. Since it's in close beta, bugs are still there, but the pay to win system and the fatigue system close this game off being an amazing cartridge shooter MMO. If they do not do something about this, the game won't last long. Overall, I would rate this game 5 out of 10, at least in close beta, and there are few Steam keys available if you guys are still interested in checking it out. Since it's free, I suggest you have a look at it. I'll leave a link below in the description so you guys can get one. Let me know what are your thoughts about this game by commenting down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please put a like and also subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get new updates. That being said, until the next video, cross out.